Hey guys, today we're going to use Affinity Designer version 2 to create some vector shapes in the Christmas theme. So later on you can use them in your projects or in your crafts and DIY stuff. So let's get started. In this tutorial we're going to flip and switch between several different tools. Alright, so as you can see on my blueprint here, the first shape to do is a simple double star and lucky for us there's actually double star tool in Affi Designer. So we don't need to do anything, just draw the double star using the shape tool. Let's make it red so we can see it better. And now we just need to do some adjustments. The number of arms is not right. Let's reduce that to four. Okay, and we got those additional arms because we select double star. Now we can move this slider left and right. And there's one more slider for those additional arms. You can do it directly on the shape with those orange points. Take a look. If you drag and drop those orange points in the position, it will change the shape. All right, so the first one was really easy just by using default shape. All right, the second one, we can do it in like five different ways. So let's do it in the really strange way today. <laughs> I will use donut tool for that. So here's the donut tool. Donut tool is like a circle of the hole. We can open it up like that. So I will open up my donut tool. So I got like half of the circle. All right, we can make the hole a little bit bigger. And as you can see, I got the top of this candy. Now I just need to use rectangle to add a little bit more to it. Okay. Uh, my snapping is off. It's snapping to the shape below. So I will need to move it out for a moment. Let's move it out here. Okay, now it's snapping correctly. Let's unite those three shapes into one using geometry panel. Let's add them together to become one shape. Nice. And the last thing to do will be to just round the endings so corner tool select both points pull inside select both points pull inside nice maybe we can just make a final adjustment by using no tool and making this left arm longer like that and the second shape is finished now the next thing is a christmas tree so that's look complex let's use one of those new powerful tools added in version 2 like shape builder so i will use circle to draw a simple grid first all right two circles when you move it while holding command you will make a duplicate like i just did okay big circles at the top select all four circles and pick the shape build the tool that's only available for version 2 of the software and now i want to keep only this one part of this grid all right so let's mark this part release and here it is that's the shape i really want to use here all right now we can adjust that a little bit and I'm going to duplicate that the same way. So I hold command and just move it with the move tool. Also, I will scale it down a bit. Now I will click, I will use a shortcut command J and command J again to power duplicate. Add together to become one shape. And here we are. We got our Christmas tree almost ready. I think we will move this node at the bottom down and cover it up with a nice rectangle. All right, so it was, looks complex, but actually it was not that hard. All right, and the last shape in this first row will be very simple. That's just a Christmas present box. So rectangle here, square below, and for the ribbon, we're going to use a donut tool. Remember donut tool? That's the circle of the hole inside. All right, duplicate that. Right click, duplicate the whole layer and now we can flip it. Cool. Let's join together and put at the top of the box. And here it is. It was really quick to make this gift box. And this way we finish the first row. Four shapes down, four more to go. 
and the next one next one is simple one that would be a little snowman so as you can guess we need to simply use circles while you're drawing drawing ovals with the oval tool hold shift to maintain the proportion and create a perfect circle take a look oval tool hold shift and you got the perfect circle now i will do this exactly the same thing as i did before with duplication so i duplicate this to duplicate quickly as i mentioned you just hold command and move the shape so in that case instead of moving the shape you will actually create a copy of the shape all right small one snowman is finished next thing snowdrop in this case i'm not using a shape take a look i'm using a line i'm using a stroke that's not a shape that's not a fill color all right so i create a line using with pen tool now i need this line over here like v shape that's why i hold shift but i got some troubles with snapping again so i think this my my blueprint my sh original shape below is messing up the snapping a little bit it shouldn't be a problem for you all right and let's hold shift to make the same angle see i cannot snap here so let's just place it here and now we can adjust the leg with no two we can even use guidance like that so now we can be sure that it's exactly the same perfect we can duplicate that we need to flip it all right reposition and now we are ready to turn our lines our strokes into proper shapes select all and then we'll convert to shapes so expand our stroke to convert them to shapes after you use this operation you will turn line into proper shape so we can add them together and that's not now a shape we just need to duplicate that and rotate as you can guess and one more time and now we can also select all of that and use alignment panel align vertically and horizontally to be sure it's in perfect alignment and now we can bake it together with geometry panel all right that's a black color so that's not good let's turn it into red with color picker all right two more to go the next one look complex but it's not very complex there's a simple trick how we can do it so let's use actually a rectangle tool why rectangle it will be too square you may say you will see what i'm going to do next just a moment so rectangle for arms for a little body and also rectangle for legs as well so that's really simple to adjust we just rectangles right and duplicate this for the second leg flip it all right for the head we don't need to use rectangle that can be just a simple circle okay and now it's time for the magic so now we're going to unite all of those shapes into one and the next step will be to use a corner tool all right unification this time instead of click add i will use as nice shape builder okay that's one shape now let's pick a corner tool and now we can round those corners first with the arms and legs round completely to have a like circle ending and then those little pieces we will call we will corner use the corner tool as well make them rounded even the neck over here around just a little bit this way we got more organic look <laughs> that's exactly what we need here all right so that's our next shape and only one left that's a very simple one as you can see that's a star we got a star tool here so let's pick normal star tool after you draw it you will notice that by default we got five arms we can change that easily at the top here just type six that will do all right remember orange points for control of the shapes we can use that here as well now let's duplicate this whole shape you can right click on the layer duplicate 
And for the copy, I'm going to use red color so you can see what is duplicate. And let's move this orange point to the center like that. Scale it up a little bit, the whole shape I mean. Now select both shapes and we will use subtract action. Subtract action will cut out the hole using the shape at the top in shape below. So that's our last star. All right, in today's tutorial, we were able to draw eight different Christmas theme vector shapes. Now you can use them in your Christmas project. If you feel like you just want to download them, yeah, there's a link for you as well. So you can just follow to the description and you will see the link so you can download a file from this tutorial and you can grab all those shapes from that original file. All right, thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.